What's up everybody, it's Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and recently Facebook has allowed third-party development for their very popular or notorious messenger application. Now today we're going to go over a handful of these third-party applications that make that forced installation of messenger well worth it. The application Diddy is pretty unique and also very hilarious. Just type out a message like you normally would, I have mine right here. Then you just choose a song. Now there's a bunch of free ones, some popular ones you may remember or they may sound familiar. Then there's uh, some popular ones like um, Chandelier by Sia. It'll cost you 99 cents, but there's also a bunch of free ones. Choose the song. It'll actually produce a little video where it sings your message to the tune of the song you chose. If you're looking for some hilarious GIFs to express how you feel, then look no further than Jiffy. It's pretty easy to use and you can find an emotion or reaction to pretty much anything. And it's also easy to explore, but it's also just fun to send some hilarious GIFs that really say what you're trying to express. If you ever want celebrities to say something you can't, then try out Clip This. All you do is write out your message and let the app do its magic. It'll find clips from TV and film to say each of the words in your message. I don't think I like you very much. Flip Flip is another personal favorite. You just record a little video along with a voice message. You can add a little animation over your face if you like, and then you just change your voice. I am Zeus. Shout is another cool one that essentially lets you create your own personal GIFs. You uh, type out a sentence. Every time you hit the space bar though, it actually takes a selfie of you and applies it to the word you just wrote. If you've ever felt like adding a 3D animation to a picture, then definitely take a look at Ping Talk. All you do is take a picture and then choose one of the many 3D animations they have to apply to your video. As you can see, you have this robot obliterating this little statue I have on my desk. If you've ever seen one of those YouTube videos that has a still image that corresponds with every word saying in a song, then you essentially understand what Wordio is. You write out a message, anything that you regularly would. The application will actually produce some images that correspond with words you've written. When you're done, you'll get a very cool short video that will express exactly what you're trying to say. Bitmoji is really fun as well. You create a little avatar that looks like you and then see him in a little cartoon or illustration saying some commonly used phrases. If you've ever felt like sharing with your friends how you would look in 40 years, then definitely try out Effectify. It's a free application that's currently only available for iOS, but you should look for it to be available on the Google Play Store sometime soon. Along with making yourself look old, you can also add a beard, you can give yourself a mustache or a unibrow, and a bunch of other awesome effects that make it worth trying out. Memes is an application only available right now for Android, but like GIFs, it's just another awesome way of explaining exactly how you feel. You can look through a archive of a bunch of different, different memes and just add your own text and tell your friend exactly how you're feeling with some hilarious James Vanderbeek pictures. So that's it for our quick little roundup, but if you ever want to save your content and you're in your conversation, just tap and hold on it. You can save it and export it any other way, like through an email or a text. And if you're ever trying to access your four messenger applications on the fly, once you're in a conversation, tap this three dot menu, you'll see all the compatible applications you have installed. And if you go a little bit lower, you'll see other applications that you haven't installed that you may want to check out. Also, in terms of checking out, check out the full guide over at GadgetHacks.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome and very useful Gadget Hack videos. Thanks, guys.